Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. We're based in Hilton, Derbyshire. And I'd like to show you around the latest caravan that we've had from our valet department. It's the Eldis Explore 304. And this is a compact, neat little TARDIS. The 304 is a caravan that's very, very sought after. So it won't be here for long. So as we take a look at the front, we can see it's on an Alco stabilised hitch head. And we've also got the gas locker here. When you look inside the gas locker, we have the cradle in there for two gas bottles. As we go around the side of the caravan, it's got whale heating and water. Um, and this is the flue for the system. And here is where we connect the water pump. As we go down the side, we'll see that the caravan's got a motor mover fitted. The motor mover isn't covered by any of our warranty, albeit the caravan has got a Don Amot six months in-house warranty. These here are your fridge vents. And as we come round to the back of our nice, neat little caravan, you'll see at the back, there's a point there where you wind the legs down. You've got the grab handles. This is where we fill the toilet flush. And inside here is where the toilet cassette is stored. As we go down to the front of the caravan, you'll see here also where you wind the front leg down. We've got the battery box. If you can take a look inside, it's got the tray that the battery sits within. It's got a main socket here, and this is where the key for the motor mover will go. Um, you have to switch the motor mover on, then engage the handset and then engage your roller. It's all very exciting stuff. So let's go and take a closer look inside. The entrance door is a stable door and on the door itself you've got the fly screen. As we go into the Explore we can see that it's a neat little caravan but it's got everything you could possibly want. So as we come to the front here, you can see that we've got the gallery window, so you've got an uninterrupted view. We have a fly screen and we also have a bind. At night time, it's always good to pull your fly screen down, follow it by your blind, and then you will eliminate a gap of light. When storing the caravan, don't be tempted to store it with your blinds down, because these are on little springs and you can tension the springs and you can make them perish. Um, so don't store it with your blinds down. So this is a lovely lounge area here we've got. Um, this will pull out and make your double bed. And as you come around this side, you'll see that you've got an area here to put the TV on, or you can use your TV on the TV arm bracket. There's a 12 volt socket, a main socket and an aerial point. We've got great storage as well here. So you can see in this cupboard, we've got the TV aerial and it's got a stereo with a DVD player in there, CD player, not a DVD. Inside here again, you've got storage and around this corner, even more storage. The wardrobe is a nice size and inside there is the table. Below, we've got the fridge. The fridge has got a freezer compartment. The fridge will work on gas and mains and if your connectivity is right between the car and your caravan it will actually also work well it'll be kept cool and controlled by your car the kitchen area is well equipped and a good size more cupboards above we've got a three ring gas burner a good size sink a combi oven stroke grill and here we've got storage drawers, all positive clothes, a lovely storage cupboard there and another one beneath the combi oven. A great selling point to this little dinky caravan also is this area here. So you've got a seating area which will turn into a bed and we've got the bunk bed as well that will come down. So this will actually sleep four people. It's got a washroom, well, wet room, but it's everything that you need in there. You've got the vanity sink, you've got a cupboard above the loo, your cassette toilet, a just nice, neat, tidy space. Perfect to spend a penny in the middle of the night. So if I was you, without further delay, I'd get yourself to Don Amot Leisure Kingdom and come and take a closer look at the 304. It isn't going to be here for long.